Hey guys, do Legit City here. Today in the game of Oxygen Not Included, we're going to be going over a liquid lock design that allows your duplicates to go in and out of different rooms while maintaining a vacuum in the middle. That means there's going to be no heat transfer from said room such as that liquid lock, and this is going to be a very simple design as well. This design, of course, is going to be utilizing the uh, normal standard liquid lock design that you would typically have. That's going to be the T-shaped design. You're going to want to put a bottle on both sides. And, of course, the bottle emptier is going to need crude oil. That means in this design, you're going to need to have the access to crude oil as well. You can see right here, we're currently utilizing the uh, vacuum tile in the middle with the one-drop lock on both sides of the liquid lock. And you can see that there's no heat being leaked out in our design. Because of that, our crude oil on this tile is at negative 1 degrees, with this one being at 20. This design, as you can see, saves on resources while maintaining a vacuum to prevent heat transfer. However, no design is without the flaws, but we'll go into that in a little while. As you can see, once you make the first delivery, that's all you need to do. And then now you need to make the second delivery. Now, if you have a big bottle, the moment you do your first drop, you can turn it off. And once you uh, spill that in, sometimes you might have the situation I like see right here. Due to the fact that the uh, deliveries were made at separate instances, the spill animation on the first strip was done before the second one. And because the second one was done after gas moved in, there was no spill animation actually made. So in a situation like this, you can actually just build the tile on top of the gas. And the moment this is built, you're going to be able to deconstruct it, creating a vacuum tile. Of course, this is going to be the simple design. However, sometimes you might have it naturally crush as well, such as crude oil being the heaviest liquid, trying to bully its way down to the bottom tile. Now, this design is only really possible with crude oil, and that's going to be based off of how liquid density works. Due to how crude oil is the heaviest liquid in the game, the other liquids going around can sometimes flip-flop with the liquids, but not with crude oil, due to the fact that, of course, it is the heaviest liquid of the game. Now, for whatever reason as well, the gas tiles, sometimes CO2 being the heaviest gas, will try to bully its way down on liquids as well. However, it is not going to be able to do that on crude oil, and we'll further go into that later on. That being said, this design, although you can make this temporarily with any other liquid outside of polluted water, it's going to eventually break, so I would advise to use crude oil only however you guys can take your chances for something that doesn't really matter as much and or is much more temporary now outside of the pros of the design you guys already heard all of that the vacuum no heat transfer while having a liquid log not allowing gases to go through the uh, downsides the cons this is a very easily broken design as if you actually drop anything that off gases on either this tile or this tile it's going to break the design as the off gassing will push the liquid either to the right or up and depending on your rng luck it might also push the gas to the right as well now in that instance that means that you have to take care of anything that off gases and or only utilizes for things that don't have anything that off gases go in and out of it. Of course, that also means that you cannot have gas masks for this design. The oxygen mask that you guys may be utilizing in the early slash mid game. The mask actually allows your duplicates to breathe out carbon dioxide. And because of that, they could do this anywhere along the trip that they're making they could actually do it while climbing in and out of the lock creating a bubble of co2 allowing the heat transfer to occur now because of that that means that you need to have either atmos suits but the upside is that because it's a vacuum this means that your duplicates will not be breathing while climbing in and out without a oxygen mask as they will have to hold their breath good rule of thumb is if your duplicates cannot breathe they cannot breathe out as well and because of the vacuum it is safe to do when you do not have suits now however there is the trait flatulence where if your duplicate is climbing out of the liquid lock you're going to actually release a bubble of natural gas and of course push the crude oil 
So due to that fact, I will say that flatulent dupes may often break this or naturally just release a little bit of natural gas in the center. Now outside of that though, you actually don't have to worry about other liquids pushing down on this. Even though this is a vacuum, the tiles cannot be pushed as crude oil cannot be pushed down by any other liquid or gas. Alright guys, we are in sandbox mode with the uh, one drop log. Now to prove a little bit of the concepts about the uh, liquid densities, I'll also link below in the description a link to the uh, oxygen not included wiki that will have an image of all the liquids separated by densities. A lot of the list will only have the common liquids in a certain temperature range that you're normally going to be experiencing while playing the game. So some of the liquids such as the molten metals and of course magma is not going to be considered. However, the uh, liquid density chart is always something great to reference. That being said, if you guys did not know, water is actually the second lightest liquid in the game, second to only visco gel. That means that if any other liquid happens to spill in and if you don't have a lip or if you have it on the edge and these tiles are not here and the water spills with a mixed liquid tank, some of it might splash inside. And when that splash happens, you're going to have that water actually flip flop with the water, especially if it's a any other liquid that's not water. And when that happens, you're going to actually run into some problems. As we uh, spill over there, you can see that the uh, tile of salt water, because it's heavier than water, immediately flip flops and causes a spill issue. This is a very common issue, and if enough salt water gets into here, it's going to spill into this tile. So because of that, salt water, as you can see, or any other water, will actually cause issues when it goes into a liquid lock setup. Because of that, if I were to have salt water spill into here, you could see that it causes some issues and just kind of becomes a regular liquid lock. Now that's where the crude oil comes into play. It actually does not care about it. You can actually stack as much liquid as you want, as much volume as you want in terms of mass. You can actually seal this up and make this into a uh, basically a water tank. It's never going to be able to break. And this is always going to be the case as liquid lock cannot be pushed down by gases or any other liquid. So this is going to be why liquid locks, when every time you make this, is always going to be better with crude oil. Of course, even if you're not opting to do the uh, one tile on both sides with the vacuum in the middle, if you were to do a normal liquid lock, crude oil is typically also going to be the best due to the range of the crude oil. However, it will also be the fastest in terms of heat transfer as it's going to be a lower specific heat capacity compared to water. So it's going to allow more heat to leak through while water is going to be a little bit slower to allow that heat transfer. So because of that, all the oil is going to be better in most cases. Slowing down heat transfer, you're better off with water if you're not going to be running a vacuum door setup or running the uh, vacuum tile setup. Over here, we have the uh, petroleum boiler that I've had running for maybe 600 cycles. And we actually have about 70,000 kilograms of petroleum per tile here. It's around 25, 30 tiles. This 25 thousand kilogram this is basically like a thousand tons in here is actually in an infinite pressure tank with that amount of pressure you would imagine that you could do a lot of things the liquid actually pushes itself vertically at this point due to the high pressure level however it cannot push down on crude oil still what we said earlier stays true as crude oil over here it's only at 500 kilograms cannot be pushed down on by the petroleum and this crude oil will never rise up because of that, you could actually make a liquid lock design into a Escher waterfall infinite pressure tank to allow for some duplicate access if you guys need to do some repairs. This is always great as you might need to put more pumps in and if your build is not final, having the option is always great. You could always just put a door on the side so that you could disallow access into here if that's something you are not sure about or is trying to reduce access to so that you don't accidentally break it. You always have that option. However, 
this is a proof of concept that pressure level does not matter and crude oil is going to reign supreme so guys this is going to be the uh, one tile vacuum lock setup we showed you guys how to do it with the double bottom empty years what to do if there is a gas tile in the middle to just build and deconstruct and of course why crude oil is going to be the best liquid in most cases if you guys don't have crude oil just understand that you know you have to make do with what you have and it's not going to be the end of the world as this is a very minor thing but guys, if you guys have any questions about this, leave a comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.